What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be talking about a topic that hits very close to me when it comes to Warzone here. And it is something I've mentioned in the past. This is how the attachments are working for Cold War weapons in Warzone. Now I know that I've been making a decent number of videos lately that have been more on the negative side and more on the highly critical side. And I realize that I know a lot of people aren't here for negativity and this isn't necessarily the content that I want to be making either. I would much rather be making guides and breakdowns and doing all the stuff that I built my channel on. But this issue right here has been really big for me lately as I've been diving into a lot of testing behind the scenes that you guys haven't seen come up in the YouTube videos yet because everything is just so screwed up with how they implemented the Cold War attachments into Warzone. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, when you look at the attachment descriptions for Cold War guns in Warzone, at this point, they are literally meaningless most of the time. More often than not, the stated changes of that attachment are completely wrong, and in some cases, it actually does literally the exact opposite of what it's stating that it's doing for you. So when you're building your class setups and you have a look at an attachment that says that it's gonna help you with your aim down sight time, for instance. In reality, that attachment probably doesn't change your aim down sight time at all, and instead, it probably has an effect on your hip fire spread, or your movement speed, or something like that. Something completely unrelated to what is mentioned in the description for that attachment. And what this means is for the most part, it's just a guessing game when it comes to the attachments. You just have to start throwing attachments on randomly, playing with them and seeing how it feels, and you really don't know what you're going to get. You might as well just be blindly choosing many of your attachments. Now I know JGod and True Game Data, they've been doing a very good job, or as good as you could expect out of this, collecting some of the important stats of various attachments. But at this point, it's not really viable to be testing everything on all attachments. And just to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what I've been working on, I was thinking about doing a video talking about like what are the best barrels to be using for assault rifles on Cold War weapons in Warzone. And this is because I know barrel attachments are so important in Warzone and they really can make or break a gun. If you put the wrong barrel on a gun, you can end up making it feel so much worse for Warzone. Whereas if you put the right barrel on, it can suddenly make an average gun amazing. So I started doing my testing a couple weeks ago, actually. I've been working on things behind the scenes, trying to get this data collected. And the first thing I noticed is the barrel attachments aren't consistent across all of the assault rifles. So the ultralight barrel on one assault rifle might do the exact opposite of what it's doing on a different assault rifle, even though they have the same stated changes. Additionally, since we really don't know what's changing, I have to test pretty much everything. I'm testing damage, I'm testing range, velocity, movement speed, aim down sight stray speed, sprinting speed, aim down sight speed, sprint out time, hip fire, recoil. I'm testing all of these values with every barrel and I have to do it for every single gun as well because the barrels don't even work consistently across guns. And normally for my videos, you guys know I like to have well-presented graphics and everything. I like to put that extra polish on my videos. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show some of my behind-the-scenes really rough work that I've been doing, comparing the barrel attachments on the AK-47 to the FFAR. And as you can see here, a great example of this is the Reinforce Barrel. It's the same barrel across both guns, it has the same name, and it has the same stated changes if you look at the description of that attachment in the game, so you think they'd at least perform somewhat similarly. Turns out, that's not the case at all. On the FFAR, the Reinforced Heavy Barrel gives you a 30% increase to your damage range and a roughly 50% increase to your bullet velocity, whereas on the AK-47, it decreases your range by 12% and decreases your bullet velocity by about 15%. So this is a pretty clear example of why you just can't trust the attachment descriptions in the game. If you do that, there are going to be many cases where you're actually doing the exact opposite of what you're trying to do to your gun. And it's even worse that this is inconsistent across guns. It would be a lot easier if this was at least consistent across all assault rifles, so all ultralight barrels, for instance, would have the same effects on all of the assault rifles, but that's just not the case. So not only are the descriptions just completely misleading and often inaccurate, there's also no consistency here. So once you figure out something for one particular attachment on one particular gun, that only applies to that attachment on that gun. And this just makes it completely unreasonable for the average person to be able to make effective class setups. And all of this is totally unacceptable in my mind, especially for a AAA game that is as successful as this one. I'm not even asking for perfectly detailed stats like we have in Cold War's multiplayer. I think that's great, and it would be awesome to see that for Warzone. But I'm not even asking for that. I'm just asking for the absolute bare minimum for the descriptions of an attachment to at least roughly match what that attachment does. 
I would be fine if it were the case where the odd attachment is a little bit weird and quirky and does something different from what the description says, because we've actually been living with that since Warzone launched with all the Modern Warfare guns. There are many attachments that don't quite do what the description says, but for the most part at least, they give you a general indication of how that attachment works, and it actually does somewhat reflect how it behaves in game. With the Cold War attachments though, it's the opposite. More often than not, the stated stats are not what is actually happening with that attachment. And I just can't understand how something like this would even slip through the cracks. Obviously, when they were working on the integration, they went in weapon by weapon, attachment by attachment, and coded the stats for those attachments into the game. Were they not taking notes on what they were changing, or do they not have really easy access to that data at any given time? Because that definitely is information that should be readily available. They should be able to pull up and see exactly what an attachment is changing when you put it on a gun. So why can't they just make descriptions that at least roughly match what is happening with that attachment? That seems like something you could put an intern on for a week, and they should have that all done and polished up by the end of the week, no problem. I just don't get how they were able to screw something so important up so badly, when it really doesn't even seem like it would take that much effort or energy for them to fix. I bet there are so many really casual players out there that don't pay attention to true game data or JGOD, or myself, but to a much lesser extent lately. There are tons of casual players out there that are putting attachments on their gun, and they have no idea what's actually happening with those attachments. And this stuff is very important to the gameplay experience as well. This isn't some minor quality of life thing. This is a vital part of the game. So this is me basically begging for Raven or whoever is in charge of this to either overhaul how you're handling the attachments and change all of the stats of the Cold War attachments, or at the very least, make the descriptions for those attachments actually match what is happening with that attachment. If an attachment is improving your range, tell us that it's improving our range. If it's hurting our range, tell us that it's hurting our range. If a barrel doesn't boost our damage to vehicles, don't tell us that that barrel is boosting damage to the vehicles. This isn't some little indie company with no resources available to them to get on top of stuff like this. And even if it was a small indie company with very limited resources, I'm sure they could have solved this issue by now and probably would have because it seems like indie devs actually care about their games. Whereas currently with Warzone, I'm not getting much of an indication that anyone on the development or publishing side cares at all about the quality of their game. So as of now, I am going to continue testing some stuff in the background, some key things, and if I find anything really useful, I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys. But I gotta say, at this point, I just feel like it's not even worth the time or effort, because it does take so much time and effort to cover absolutely everything that these attachments can do. And then, I don't even know if they're planning on changing all of this. They might completely overhaul everything, and then dozens of hours of work could just go out the window for me. So I'm feeling very demotivated to be covering Warzone right now, even though I really want to be. And I'm really hoping we can see that at least bare minimum fix to the descriptions for attachments on Cold War weapons in Warzone. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video, but of course, I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about this whole situation where the descriptions for Cold War attachments in Warzone are basically meaningless? Is this something that's a really big deal to you and you want to see an immediate fix for? Or are you kind of indifferent or maybe even like the fact that you never know what you're getting with your attachments and it's just a gamble all the time? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.